yes this is a presentation layer so we are having uh, three layers one is presentation layer this one presentation layer okay the second one is application layer and third one is database layer sap follows three tier architecture right so the presentation layer means what from where you log in your desktop your pager your mobile from there you log in into the system right that is presentation layer how you connect to the any website what you need to log in into any website the basic thing is a browser how you connect to a linux mission put the same way to log in into sap we are having a tool called sap gui what we called as sap gui graphical user interface or you can say a log on pad log on pad okay that we installed at presentation layer means your pcs from there you connect to application that application will connect to the database from database you will get the information so what we have in the database generally if you take any software in application layer what we install application software application software whatever the application whether you are using erp erp is a business application right whether you are using sap erp whatever the erp is you are using that is a business application so we install it application layer a database layer what we have the first thing is we will be having a database repository database repository what is the meaning of database repository database repository means the programs reports screens of that particular database software whatever the database you are using that software along with that database repository you will be having business data why you are using database to store my business data okay so your application software will be installed here and your whatever the data you generate by using that software your that means your business data that is storing at the database level for that reason only we are using database layer to store our business data so i am throwing you one statement if you take any software in the world the application functionality and the data generated by using that software application functionality means your software and data generated by using your software is your business data like what data you generate by using business data if you create a sales order the order will be your business data purchase order material master record whatever the business data you why how you are generating you are using that software so you are producing the data that data only you are saving into the database na so that data will be stored at database level so again i am giving you one statement if you take any software in the world the application functionality and the data generated by using that software both resides differently the software will be residing at application layer and the business data is residing at database layer but when comes to sap the application functionality and the data generated by using that software both residing in the database only means your application software your software related data will be storing at your database level then what you are be having at application layer so i am what i am saying we are not saving our application software here then what we are having here only few of the application components are storing at application level call them as dot exes and dot dll files dot exe files and dot dll files why actually your software should be residing at application layer your business software is what sap so your business application is what sap you have to install that software at application layer but why you are saving your entire database in the database database for business data 
everybody will use that database layer for storing the business data but you are different here you are saving your software as well as the business data both in the database layer why what happened to you if you take any software the software size will be what for example if i install one software in this system my application layer this host where it will be installed in c drive whatever the software you install that will be installed in c drive c drive d drive f drive what these drives are what file system storage right but uh, what is this database layer what is database exactly tell me to store the data okay hard disk also i can store my data can i say my external hard disk has this is my database no when you call your hard disk as a database if you use any of the database software to store your business data so what this database software will do it will organize your data in a structured manner so that you can fastly insert the data fastly retrieve the data database is not only for storing the data remember and it has to provide security to your data also if you lost your original data na you have to back up you have to restore it so there will be some security mechanisms there will be some storage mechanisms are there in the database software then only you can call it as a database simply don't say Uh, your external hard disk, your pen drive. This is my data. All my data is here. No, no worries. That says file system storage. If you are saving in your hard disk, pen drive, uh, a C drive, D drive, that is called as a file system storage. What is the difference between this file system storage and database storage? So, for example, if you are having some ten files, if I save in C drive, if I want to retrieve eight file. so it will read how if you call the eighth file it will go with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it will pick 8 it will read all the files from that it will pick 8 so it will take some time right if i save same thing in the database now first it will go to index from index it will directly take your location directly it will pick 8 so faster retrieval is there right in a database if you save your data by using any of the database software the retrieval is fast that is the reason all these companies will use database software to store their data otherwise they will have save entire thing in your c drive or d drive right now why sap saving its data in the database if you take any software whatever the software you know name it the software size will be 5 gb 4 gb 3 gb 2 gb 1 gb okay if i save 2 gb software here if i install it my c drive if i call one screen from that 2 gb it will take hardly 30 to 40 seconds to retrieve that screen why file system storage is slow here my date my software size itself 250 gb was If I save 250 GB of my software in my C drive, na, if you want to retrieve one sales order screen, how much time it will take? It has to read entire 250 GB, then it will bring your sales order screen. That is the reason SAP is saving their software also along with their business data. You are purchasing a glass to drink water. That is your wish. you will drink water or water, water milk that is your wish na the same way at any how i am taking uh, database software's license here so whatever i want i'll save in the database i have that facility na this is data this is also data this is software data this is my business data whatever that is the reason sap is saving their software as well as business data in the database only few of the application components resides outside of the database at application level call them as kernel .exe files or .dll files why sap is putting their .exe files and .dll files at application level so heart of any software is what its kernel its uh, exe and dlls right along with that exe and dlls entire mechanism there will be some mechanism of application layer that will be storing it that is working at this location only but whenever you call something some sap screen it is bringing from database 
your business data it is bringing from the database the mechanism is here dot exe is your dot dll will work here but the data will be storing it database level what is dot exe files executable files for any software exe files are hot what is dll files dynamic link library files what is the meaning of dll you are having two types of software right one is application software second one is system software system software is what your operating system application software means whatever the apps you install on that operating system is called as application software right so now i am working in ms paint right is it a system software or application software apps your phone also having app store what is the meaning of app store guys apps it is not a operating system applications you install on operating system you will be having what operating systems you on your phone android ios right and that you install your whatsapp facebook insta all these are apps your operating systems are called as system software means the software which you directly install on hardware is called as system software the software which you install on system software is called as application software so ms office is what application software whatsapp instagram application software system software sir windows linux android ios these are all operating systems or system software whenever you install any application na you will get dot dll files go and check in your program files in that uh, installation directory you will get dot dll files what is the use of this dot dll files dynamic link library files see if i am working in which software system software or application software now ms paint means ms office related ms office is a application software so if i give print here if i give print here the printer is not connected to my application software the printer is connected to the hardware right if i give print here this application software and hardware is not directly connected in between them there is a system software so when i give print here from the application software the print will request will go to the system software means your operating system your operating system then calls hardware to do the print to link this application software in system software this dot dll files are very much important without dot dll files no application you can run on the system software you check it so hot of the software i am saving it application layer see if you observe in this program files uh, i have installed ms office if you go to this ms office and office 12 see here all dll files these are dll files without this dll files your application won't talk with your system software so this dot dll files are very much important for your applications whatever you installed on your operating systems see uh, about exes i am having ms office 2007 software and this is entire software folder and i am having one setup.exe file if you want to install this software into your uh, system will you copy this uh, setup.exe or entire folder what happens when i hit on setup.exe so it will ask me to install the executable file right so if you copy only setup.exe file now it won't work you have to copy entire folder then when you hit the setup.exe file it will call all these things ms powerpoint ms paint ms office ms excel everything so these are all called as repositories of ms office the same way when comes to sap all entire this folder all your programs reports screens menu options everything we are saving in the database only this setup dot exe is and dot dll dot exe files and dot dll files we are saving it 
application level. This SAP repository contains what? Programs. Repository means programs, reports, screens, menu options, and even printer and fax configuration settings. Everything comes under SAP's repository. It means entire SAP software I am saving at database level. Only .exes and .dlls I am saving at application level. That means calling is happening from application layer. Entire software is saving at the database level. So, so at a presentation layer, we install GUA. It's a small tool through which we log in into the SAP system. That will be installed at our local desktops through which we will connect to the SAP system. At a database level, we'll be having in a database we'll be having SAP repository means entire SAP software. Along with that, the major thing business data and the database repository. Database repository means the software content of the database. When you install your Oracle or HANA, your home directory will be there. Na? That uh, entire software related information will be storing in the database repository. So you'll be having a SAP repository, database repository, and your business data. This is about your database layer. And what, how your end user is connecting to the database, how SAP application is connecting to the database and accessing all this data. SAP screens, whenever you call SAP screen, it is coming from SAP repository. Whenever you're calling your business data, it is also coming from the database the mechanism how this application server will work that we will see tomorrow